Hey everybody, it's I want to be retro. Today we're going to take a look at setting up LDAP authentication for Conboard. To begin, I'll navigate to Conboard and try to authenticate using my I want to be retro Active Directory account. As we'll see, I can't currently log in using this account. To begin the configuration, we need to create a service account in Active Directory for Conboard to authenticate with. Launch Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click on Users and select New User. Enter a first name, last name, and logon name for the new service account. Then enter and confirm a password, and uncheck user must change password at next logon, and check password never expires. Click finish to complete creating the service account. Next we'll create an Active Directory group to limit access to the Conboard application. Right click on users and select new and then group. Enter the desired group name and click OK. Next, we'll add users to the new group. Double-click the new group name, then select the Members tab and click Add. Enter the usernames of any users who should have access to Conboard and click OK. We now have Active Directory configured with a service account and a group to limit access to our application. Now we're ready to set up the configuration in Conboard. First, let's navigate to the PHP installation directory and edit the PHP INI file. Search for equals LDAP inside the file and remove the semicolon at the beginning of the line to uncomment it and enable the LDAP extension. Save the changes and close php.ini. Now we need to navigate to the Conboard installation directory and edit the config.php file. Search the file for LDAP underscore auth to find the LDAP configuration settings. Using the video description as a guide, set the LDAP configuration options in config.php. Set LDAP auth to true to enable LDAP authentication. Set the LDAP server to your LDAP host. Change the LDAP bind type to proxy. Set the LDAP username to the service account logon name we created earlier. And set the LDAP password to the service account password. Set the LDAP user base DN to the user's container in Active Directory. Set the LDAP user filter to limit access to the Comboard application to only the group we created earlier. And lastly, set the LDAP user attribute username to same account name. Save the changes to config.ini. If the PHP LDAP extension wasn't already enabled, you'll need to restart your web server service. Now I'll navigate back to the Conboard login screen and refresh, and then try again to log in with my I want to be retro Active Directory credentials. Now I'm able to log into Conboard using my Active Directory username and password, and Conboard has flagged the account as remote authenticated, 